We are spreading the message of love and compassion to horses. Please see through the lies and the convenience. You're right. Yeah? I am right? And so we shouldn't support that, right? I was giving this to If we don't support it, the immigrants are going to go back. They won't have work. PETA's investigator also documented the terrible conditions for the exploited workers in Asmussen's barns. Many undocumented laborers were required to work long, hard hours for little pay. It was awful to see them getting exploited like this. Many couldn't even live in the staff dorms at the track because they were undocumented workers. They had to sleep in barns and hack rooms. Here, Asmussen is explaining how to manufacture paperwork illegally. I presented it to him like this. It's real simple. If you guys want a job, you're not going to work for me under that name. They'll come in and fucking raid you. As far as they know, you don't exist anymore. But did you help them get the social security cards too and all that sort of thing? It's like $60, 70 a person. 26 plus horses dead at this racetrack last season. We do not have to support animal abuse. We love animals and we want to respect them. We do not want horses to die. 2,000 plus racehorses are killed every year in racehorsing alone. Death at the track has always been and always will be an inevitable part of racing. The typical horse does not reach full maturity. Bones done growing, plates not done fusing till around six years old. And the higher up the body, the slower up the process. So that bones in the spine and neck of all places are the last to finish. The typical racehorse is thrust into training at 18 months old and raced at two years old. The vast majority of racehorses are bought and sold multiple times over the course of their so-called careers. Careers that generally don't last long to begin with. The fundamental relationship itself, that of owner owned, guarantees bad things will happen guarantees by definition a piece of property a commodity a resource all of which undeniably describe the racehorse can have no meaningful protection under the law a horseman if he so chooses can run his horse into the ground yes even to death with virtual impunity there is no real accountability because this core relationship precludes real accountability. Neither the industry nor our society will ever, could ever seriously punish a property owner for crimes against his property. Folks, we know you love animals. We do too. We're here for them. We're here for you. We're here to ask you to please evolve. It is no longer necessary to do this kind of so-called sport. We love these animals. They are drugged. They're in pain, they're put out there, and they die. We have many cases of do horses dying regularly, and they will today as well. Uh, protesters who are uh, here to defend their side of the horse track are basically saying that uh, they want their jobs protected and they don't want this uh, horse track to shut down because uh, they would lose their job and they wouldn't be able to feed their kids uh, and that it's hard for them to get a job anywhere else because they don't have a whole lot of experience in other fields. The other side felt also that uh, they didn't want any horses to die either and that there was a way to uh, hold horse races where uh, the horses wouldn't die. That argument kind of comes from a humane lie as if the, there's a humane way to uh, use horses for entertainment uh, without their consent. One of them was saying that they felt as though the horse's existence was to race, uh, that they were born and bred to race, and that's what they want to do. With the abuse and the drugs, and if they really knew the situation that was at hand, definitely would not uh, want this to be happening to them. It is a hard situation. Uh, but ultimately, we should be moving towards making sure that we have jobs that are not hurting animals and ultimately be questioning uh, wage slavery and if someone finds that their job is unmoral, that they should be able to leave without the threat of not being able to have their basic necessities and basic needs. And so thank you all so much for watching and you can get involved in any action groups in San Diego if you're down here. Uh, speak up for animals. Make sure to uh, do anything that you can in a situation where animals are being abused. Please try to uh, talk to people and uh, try to get them to see the animal's perspective and to have the most compassionate outlook and also have compassion for anybody who uh, may be opposing what you're saying and try to uh, just try to educate them as much as possible. All right. 
Uh, I love you all so much. Uh, this is Robin the Activist, and we are out. Peace.